so what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this simple tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple frequently asked question section so in the previous tutorial if at all you watched it i showed you how you can build this from scratch using html some little bit of css and jquery so and this is what we had a simple accordion so the user will already see the questions if it if at all is searching for that clicks it and sees the answer so if you get what i'm telling you so i promised you i'm going to show you how you can also achieve this using a framework called materialized css so it's going to be very very easy and simple with a nice sleek cool design so stick around if you want to see how it's done using a framework a front-end framework materialized css so what you need to be having of course is internet if you don't have these files already on your pc so you just navigate to materialize css.com and when you're there you reach their documentation site as you can see it's a modern responsive front-end framework based on material design so just click get started and here they will show you the different options you can use you can download it and use it offline and if at all you are well off with SAS you can download this if at all you don't want to put anything on your machine then it's better use these content delivery network links so the CDNs have the CSS link and the JavaScript link so the choice is yours I already downloaded this on my PC so you find the CSS folder to be having these files, the default one and the minified version or the compressed version it will be having this extension minified. And also the same applies to JavaScript. You will have the default file and the minified version or the compressed version. So let me show you. I have here a file that you're going to be working with. I called it fact.html so they frequently ask questions and I can just put an execution mark there and tab and I get that boilerplate for HTML so this is the default layout for every website that is created in this entire world this is how it starts so we are just going to say material like CSS fact so save this and I'm going to open it with live server so this is what we are having remember I told you you can use these online or the content delivery network links just copy that and place it in the head section for the CSS file and for the JavaScript file just copy it and place it right before the closing body tag so this is how it can it will be looking like if I told you how to do this but as I told you I already downloaded this I know for the case you may also have downloaded this then you can just link the way you link your normal CSS so you just put here the link tag and specify the folder that you want to access we have we want to access CSS forward slash as you can see VS Codos shows you the files inside this folder so we want to access material I want to use the minified version then that's it for the CSS now for the JavaScript file we just write these simple script tags specify the source attribute where the file is located we just put this JS folder as you can see here we have a JS folder then forward slash and I want a file called materialize.mini.js so this is the file that I'm linking to you can link to this one or this one all the same as you can see I have some pretty extension somehow tabs and arranges the way it wants and this is not how it's supposed to be so 
Oh. So this is how it's supposed to be. Very nice. So if at all you have ever worked with the framework, bootstrap, some, any framework, you always have this div and uh, with a class of container. So what this one does, leaves some fixed width both on the right hand side and left hand side. I want to create some layout for my work that I'm going to be doing here. I'm just going to create a row and inside here I'm just going to place columns. So I'm just going to give it a class of call. This stands for a column. Then on large screens, I want it to take four columns. On small screens, the whole grid system to allow. So this is how it's done with the materialized CSS framework. I want all the examples to be on the same line. Very, very simple. Now for us to create a very, very simple fact section using this framework, we need to write this unordered list. First, create an ordered list tag. Give it a class of collapsible. So this is the first class that you need to give to this parent element that is going to be nesting all our siblings or children element. And inside here, you put the li tag, short for list item, and it will take in also sibling or child element with a class of collapsible dash header so this is where our question is going to be so i'm just going to repeat the same questions that i used in the previous tutorial how is the refund process so assuming you deal with shipping, stuff like that, so the choice is yours. Then that's for the question, and we just give it a class of collapsible header. And for the answer, we create another div and give it a class of collapsible dash body. So this is the body or the answer that the person will be reading. So I'm, as I say, I have emit, and I can easily write rollm and I just put the number of characters that I want, let's say 20, and I place tab on my keyboard. So this is what I'm having, very, very simple. So I'm first going to stop there. Now for every element of all component for materialize to work, you always need to initialize it. And it's very, very simple. Here we don't need jQuery or any other link on our side. We are just going to use vanilla javascript as i told you we create our custom script tag where we are going to be initializing all this and this idea always listen for the document road or as you do in jquery so let me just take you back a little bit you can just see here in the previous tutorial for jquery you always write this document.ready and call the callback function so you wait for the document when it's ready and run the code that is inside with vanilla javascript it's also very simple just say document and we add an event listener and the type of event that we want is called the dom content loaded so we want everything to be loaded in the dom and we run everything so we put this callback function so whatever is inside here we run when the document as fully loaded this is how it's done using the vanilla javascript way so we are going to create a simple variable here so let and i'm going to call it pack one so the frequently asked question one because i'm going to be showing you different examples and i'm going to assign it to document or document dot query selector query selector and we want to select the element with a class of collapsible so remember we gave our unordered list tag this class of collapsible so that's the one we want to target so we just paste it here that's the class that we want to target and we initialize it so we use the materialized syntax so m dot collapsible 
dot init so we initialize it and here we call the variable that we created so it's called pack one and it always passes in an object full of options but since it's a beginner friendly tutorial I'm going to take you step by step so you can leave this object empty save this and preview it in our browser and we are having this so how is the refund process you can see by default a framework gives you a slick design around this so they put a simple shadow there with a paper design so this is all about paper design so when the user clicks this we get that you can see for your framework it is kind of styled than ours so ours we just use some little bit of CSS and jQuery you can see how a framework does let us create more list items on the page so since I want to take you step by step I want to repeat the same process so that you master what we are doing so this is the first list item as you can see here then just go down create another list item oh and we are just going to create another div inside as always give it a class of collapsible header that's for the question and here I'll just copy the same question that I used here oh just going to copy that question there then create another div and we're just going to give it a class of collapsible body as I said we use this fake text let's say 40 save this and preview it in the browser this is what we are having so I'm going to show you the difference between the one we created and this so by default this one has what they call the accordion style so when you open the first element and when you click the second element it closes the first one which is not the same case with this you can open all of them and what we are doing according to this framework what we did here is called the expandable accordion so you can open all the answers at a go and this one has the accordion style so when you open the first one the second one crosses the previous one that you are on so I'm going to show you another example of this so we want to be able to open all the questions and answers at a go and this I may be wanting to see both the answers at a go and for the framework doesn't allow you on that first option so the second option we can easily put off that this functionality of closing the first one by using another class called expandable let me show you what I mean so we are going to go in the second div that we created here so this is the second div and I'm going to just put some h4 above it and I say expandable and for the expandable it's very very simple so we just create another unordered list tag and give it a class of collapsible then space and put another class called expandable sorry expandable then the rest is going to be the same markup you're just going to repeat now the list item and inside it takes in a div with the class as you can see we are repeating I just want you to master everything that we are doing so we put collapsible header 
and this is where our question does or biz. So I'm just going to put what is HTML. Then the next div below it will be having the class of collapsible or collapsible body. And this one we are going to put rolling and 20. So I'm just going to copy this again. Again. So this one is going to be CSS, JavaScript, stuff like that. And you save this and preview it in the browser, nothing's happening. So we want to initialize it below here. So remember, I created the first one with the variable of fuck one. <coughs> you forgive me for that. I'm just going to create another variable. I say back to, and I'm going to assign it to document dot query selector. Forgive me, let me pause this. Oh, you forgive me, guys. I had some cough. So, what we're going to do here, we have created another variable of F2 sorry fact two and we want target the one target this the parent element it has these two classes so we are going to take these two classes the collapsible and the expandable so you shall say dot collapsible and expandable but also see <coughs> here yeah. and we are going to say m dot collapsible we initialize it dot init and we create the variable that we created here and this is going to take in an object I told you it takes in an object full of options and since it's unexpandable we need to put off the accordion future so we just write accordion I'm going to show you what it means <coughs> excuse me we're going to set it to false so this one has the accordion future you can see when I place this it opens when I place this it closes but see this they can all be what's not happening here Sorry. So guys, you forgive me, I have some bad cough. So we remove this space and preview it in the browser. So remember we have made accordion to false. When we open this, they can all be open up at a go unlike to this this one has the accordion feature when you open the first one it shows when you have to click the next one it closes the first one but this you can open them at once I guess let me put also some heading here for the first one let me see here yeah. so this one is the accordion type oh <laughs> what did I use here H what use H4 oh this one is H1 so it's H4 here Then finally, I'm going to show you my favorite one. You can see this is the expandable one, and it's the one we created here. So we can open all the answers at a go. So I think this is the default 
this is the logic behind the expandable one so my favorite one let us create it right now it's called the pop-out collapsible element or component so we are going to go in the last div as always we create the unordered list give it a class sorry give it a class of collapsible then space pop out so these are the two classes that you give to it so you create the list items and inside they take in the divs so the first div as always is for the question just put there collapsible header so i guess you can see we are just repeating ourselves so how to make money <laughs> how to make money online so these are the frequently asked questions so we we'll get another div and we're going to give it a class of collapsible we're just repeating ourselves that's the good thing with this framework so we put just some fake text and since now i guess you are well off with this I'm just going to copy this and paste it again so how to make money let me be specific youtube twitter <laughs> also Facebook save this preview it in a browser let us just give it also some heading here so h4 of h h4 pop out you can see nothing happens when we click as i told you you need to initialize it so we go down here and we are going to create another variable of pack 3 and we are going to assign it to document dot query selector and we want to target the element with a class of collapsible remember it's the it's the first class we give to the parent element if you have to see here so it's the first class then we specify this so we say dot pop out And then we finally initialize it so we just say m dot collapsible dot init and recall the variable that we created here up so it's factory and we pass in an object full of options so let us save this and see how it works you can see this one pops out very nice so this is my favorite one so for you guys to understand all these examples just head over to the official website for materialize and on the left hand side just search for collapsible and you see the different types they have and for you guys who will be needing the source code just head to austincodecipher.com and by the time i upload this video i guess the tutorial sorry yeah the tutorial the source code will be already out so for the previous 
one that we created the source code is already there how to create the fax section this one the source code is already there so go out and see how you can play around with this so this is my favorite one from this framework the pop-out collapsible component you can see this is the accordion one it causes it crosses the previous but this one just expands then this one pops out so for you your job is to give classes and let the framework in the background do its thing so guys subscribe to the channel if this tutorial was useful to you and i'll always see you in the next tutorial peace so make sure you check out for the code very soon it's going to be a variable so that's a bug and it's not my problem it's the browser peace <laughs>